You've probably heard of every automation workflow out there at this point, lead form captures, email sequences, social media schedulers, CRM integrations, invoice automations. There are all these basic workflows that feel completely overdone by every automation tutorial on YouTube. Today, I'm going to show you exactly which automations can generate $5,000 per month. Hi, my name is Duncan. If you don't know me, I've built automation systems for over 2,000 customers and grow my AI agency to over $10,000 per month. I've seen what businesses are actually looking for versus what sounds impressive and YouTube thumbnails. By the end of this video, you'll have 33 specific automation ideas that solve real business problems that you can start selling today to earn $5,000 or more per month. The last automation is the number one selling automation across every industry, and it's one of the simplest. What I want you to understand is this. Anyone can build automations. There are a million tutorials and workflows out there, but the people making the most money are the ones solving real business problems. So let's get into the first one. So here are 33 AI automations to start making $5,000 or more a month with AI. And I've kind of broken this up into four main categories, content creation and social media, lead generation and sales, e-commerce and business operations, and then professional services and consulting. So let's get started with number one. So number one is the AI content calendar generator, automatically research trending topics and create month long content calendars for businesses. So basically you can scrape news sources, scrape social media like Twitter or Instagram, or even scrape Reddit. You can kind of find the main topics that are trending currently in whatever the niche is or industry, and you can actually actually generate a content calendar for your clients. This is super, super valuable. This is relevant to pretty much every like solopreneur or business. Number two, anyone creating content needs this a multi-platform social media distributor. I have some of these available in the community. Basically just transform a single piece of content into platform specific posts for Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok. So taking one piece of content published somewhere, you could turn a blog into social media posts. You can take a LinkedIn post and turn it into something for Twitter. So basically anything that's gonna take content that your clients have already created and leverage that into multiple ways for multiple posts to social media because people don't want to have to manually come to every single one of these platforms. They should just be able to basically go create this thing once and have it post everywhere following each platform's best practices. Number three, an AI blog writing system. Research keywords, generate SEO optimized blog posts and publish automatically. In a time where people are trying to be seen as different from everyone else and be seen as an expert in their niche, having a blog is one of the most powerful and impactful ways to do that, especially if you can kind of customize this with your own perspective philosophy and tone of voice. So a blog automation that will basically research any type of keywords for you, right? And then actually generate the blog, like create an outline for you. If you even want to create images, that's a really, really impactful way to kind of scale your reputation, scale your personal brand. And you can even start kind of selling ad revenue on the side if your blog gets big enough. I personally had clients pay me thousands of dollars for a simple blog writing automation. Number four, a video script generator and publisher to create engaging video scripts from trending topics and then auto schedule them across platforms. So basically this is kind of similar to the first one where you're just scraping content from the web. And then instead of turning this into social media posts, you're just gonna create engaging video scripts. And again, you can start to format these automations in a way that makes sense for your client. Like you wanna start with a strong engaging hook. Maybe you wanna show you know proof of your success and then you kinda of wanna get into the details and then end with some sort of call to action at the end. So again, taking the content that's out there in your niche that's trending and then turning into something specifically for video so that your client can show up on any given day, batch record all of the content, and then set this up to publish. Number five, a simple email newsletter automation. Again, you can sell this for thousands of dollars, something to generate personalized newsletters from company updates and industry news. So now you're kind of combining some of the scrapers like news or RSS feeds or things like that, then any news coming out of your company. So just kind of create a source of truth that kind of aggregates all of your content into one place, and then just formatting a nice newsletter that can go out to anyone who's subscribed to your list. Emails and newsletters have some of the highest conversion rates. So if you know how much like your client is charging for their product or services, you can actually charge them a ton for a newsletter. If you can say like, oh, maybe 10% of people who are going to read your newsletter are going to end up converting in the end. And maybe their lifetime value is going to be like a thousand dollars to you. And then you can start to say, well, okay, if I get you a thousand clients and they're each worth a hundred dollars to you or more, now you can start to see we're talking some big numbers from a very simple automation. Part of what I'm trying to teach you here is that it's not just about building the system. It's about positioning yourself alongside your client as a true business partner. You're not just selling them on the system, you're actually selling them on the value it brings to their business. This is how you're gonna be able to charge the highest rates. Instagram story templates are super great. This is a great way to grow your business. You can kind of use ChatGPT to generate images. You can hook it up to the Canva API. There's an app called Placid that you can use to kind of create templated Instagram stories. And basically you just wanna create these kind of branded story moments with AI generated copy. One of the things
things that I've done for myself and for my clients is you kind of scrape the content that already exists. Like I will scrape my YouTube content and basically pull out any like high impact, high value moments. And then you can pull out like the important quote, turn those into Instagram graphics, and then kind of publish that to Instagram. Number seven, LinkedIn thought leadership posts. This has been one of my personal best selling automations. Anytime I create content on how to automate LinkedIn, I have tons of people reaching out to me to customize a system for them to become a thought leader in whatever their niche is. So basically grab news sources, take information from their company, take their personal tone of voice or brand guidelines and generate any sort of professional insights and industry commentary for like a specifically, you know, B2B or business to business audience. This is really, really impactful because again, this is like heavily SEO optimized. If you're talking about things that are currently in the news that are in your niche and you are sharing your own perspective on it, then you can actually establish your own expert positioning and authority in the space and then be seen as an expert. And that's what your clients are going to want in the long run. Number eight, I love this automation, a TikTok trend analyzer and content creator to identify viral trends and create relevant content scripts automatically. I use this all the time. Like I have just a big Google sheet with like all of my competitors, all of their TikTok handles. And you can just go through and like scrape all of their profiles, pull out their highest performing posts, like give them some sort of score or ranking based off of like engagement, like comments, likes, views, whatever. And you can start to see what's working for other creators and you can start to reshape content for yourself that kind of mimics what's already working. And that really gives you the best chance to go viral. Number nine, a YouTube thumbnail and title optimizer. If you're working with anyone who is creating content on YouTube, we all know that really the title and the thumbnail are almost the most important part of the entire process. It's title, it's thumbnail, and it's the first three seconds of the video, the hook. So if you're able to extract all the thumbnails from the best performing content and generate high CTR thumbnail, so you can basically analyze them, figure out what's working and use that to create your own thumbnails. Again, this is a great automation to sell to any client who is creating content. Number 10, a podcast show notes generator. This is a super simple automation to set up. I actually created a Chrome extension that can do this. But basically what you do is you just get the latest podcast episode. And then based off of whatever like your client's personal preferences are or how they like to format or structure their show notes, it's just going to extract the transcript from that episode. And that's just going to turn it into a really simple show notes. This is a manual process. It's actually really tedious and time consuming and people just don't want to do it. So if you can save them an hour or two a week, they're definitely going to be willing to pay you for it. And number 11, an AI powered influencer outreach. So basically you're just going to use this automation to research what influencers exist in your space, like probably using keywords. And then you're just going to research who they are. You can use like perplexity or something like that to kind of find some more information about who this influencer is and then craft a personalized collaboration proposal for any sort of brand partnership. Your clients are really going to like this one because we're in this like vibe marketing era right now. And so basically any of your clients who are, have a product to sell, they're going to want to get in front of some sort of influencer. So they want to know which influencers basically fit their niche, address their target market, and then kind of craft some sort of personal outreach to them. This again, this is going to save your client tons of time having to do the research and then write a whole bunch of emails. So that's it for content creation and social media. Let's move over to lead generation and sales. Number 12, the cold email personalization engine. I have some examples of this in my community. This one is really, really powerful for your own AI agency or even for your clients. Basically what the system does is it's going to research prospects and it's going to generate highly personalized outreach sequences. So the idea is that you can either like scrape LinkedIn or you can even like scrape Google Maps for like to find local businesses in your area. You can find like a decision maker at that business, research them, research the company, and then use AI to generate a really specific initial cold outreach email to them that basically says like, hey, John, like love what you're working on over here, would love to connect with you. Here's a little bit about what I'm doing. This is a really incredibly effective way to find new business. Number 13, a LinkedIn lead generation bot, find ideal prospects, send connection requests and nurture relationships automatically. So the LinkedIn API can be a little bit tricky to work with, and you won't actually be able to send connection requests like through an N8N automation or something like that. But there are platforms that allow you to do this. But again, being able to scrape LinkedIn to find ideal prospects based off of whatever criteria that you set, like searching for certain keywords, again, finding a decision maker at a company, researching a little bit of information about them. And then you can just kind of have a list that you want to go through and send DMs. LinkedIn can be a little bit particular about how you use their API. So just be careful about how you use it. Number 14, an AI chatbot for lead qualification. This is a great way to pre-qualify leads through intelligent conversations before you actually hand this off to a real person. So in your client's instance, they have someone coming to their site, they're interested in information, they're interested in learning more. Maybe you're someone who has like a high ticket offer or something like that. People can come, they can interact with your chatbot, they can answer a series of questions, they can actually get responses, which is why this is better than just some sort of kind of like lead form. And then from there, basically the system will qualify them and can put them straight into your pipeline and can identify the like, you know, highest quality leads and the ones with the highest identified value. And then it can basically hand those off to a human to follow up with a real sales call. Number 15, an automated proposal generator. I love this one. This is one of the most powerful automations you can have for your AI 
API agency. This will create custom proposals based on client requirements and past successful projects. And so basically the way this works is like a lot of us now are using like AI recorders in Zoom meetings or Google Meets or whatever. And at the end of that call, like you'll get a transcript. So if you're able to build an automation that can analyze your transcript and then turn that into a business proposal following like a template or a set format, you can literally send a proposal to your client within like five minutes of finishing the call. And that's going to impress them. It's going to show them you know what's up and how to use automation. It's going to make them that much more likely to want to hire you to work for them. Number 16, a social media lead magnet creator. Lead magnets are one of the best ways to grow your audience on any social platform. You probably see them all over the place. So the goal here would be to build a really simple automation that allows you to use plain language or put in like a series of keywords or some value propositions or basically just like what you want this lead magnet to be. And at the end, you're going to get like a PDF, a guide, a certain framework, a checklist or something like that, that you can then like post on LinkedIn or Instagram and say, hey, I'm giving away this thing for free. Comment, you know, automation and I will send it over to you. And that's a great way to, you know, get more followers. That's a great way to get email addresses and things like that. Number 17, an AI sales follow-up system. So this would analyze lead behavior and send perfectly timed follow-up messages. So if you have like an email campaign or something like that going out, you can actually see which users have like clicked through on which emails, which they've opened, which they've clicked through. And basically the AI can identify which leads are the highest quality and the most likely to convert. Maybe they just need like a little extra nudge. So they can say like, oh, like Jim over here has opened five emails. He's clicked through three links, but he hasn't bought anything yet, right? Now, maybe you can actually use AI to send a personalized follow-up message directly to Jim. That will be that little extra push he needs to actually complete the sale. Number 18, competitor price monitoring. Like any business would love this, right? So track competitor pricing and automatically adjust your rates for maximum profitability. So basically just scrape your competitors, figure out what products they're selling, how much they're priced, then adjust your rates accordingly. This one is super, super straightforward and provides a ton of value. Number 19, a review response automation. So say you have a business and you're on like Yelp or something like that. You want to be able to generate thoughtful responses to customer reviews. And so this is a really powerful automation that you can build. Basically, anytime a customer reviews one of your products, AI would kind of like check that that's come in. They would analyze what the review was, and then they would draft a response in your tone of voice. This is a great way to engage with all your customers. That's it for lead generation sales. Let's move on to e-commerce and business operations. Number 20, a product description generator. Create compelling SEO optimized product descriptions from basic product info. Upload a photo of your product, drop a little description in there, something really basic, and have the AI generate SEO optimized titles that are going to encourage people to actually click on this and buy. Number 21, an inventory management predictor. If you are running an e-commerce business, this thing is a gold mine. Something that's able to forecast demand and automatically reorder products before they stock out. So basically something that's able to analyze past trends, figure out what's coming up next, what the likelihood, how much product you're actually going to need, and and then once it kind of identifies that, just go ahead and place the order for you. It saves a ton of manual work. Number 22, a customer support ticket router. This one sounds really, really basic, but it is so impactful. You could spend so much time going through all your customer support tickets, figuring out you know which support rep you need to send it to and things like that. But if you build an AI system that can basically categorize and route the support request to the appropriate team members, again, it saves a ton of manual work. And if you start thinking of manual work in terms of like dollars per hour, like say you're paying you know, customer support rep $30 per hour, and this will save them 10 hours per week. Well, now you've just saved the company $300 per week. That's just for one rep. So now if they have 10 reps, now you save them $3,000 per week and think about how much you can sell this system for. Number 23, a dynamic pricing optimizer. This one is definitely more advanced, but if you're able to adjust your product prices based off of the demand, the competition, and the inventory levels, this is a highly, highly valuable automation. So basically what you're going to want to do is basically just set up the automation to figure out how many people are kind of like, you know, clicking through your website, clicking on specific products, it's kind of like how much time they're spending on the page, right? And then kind of what's happening with all of your competitors and then how much inventory you have in stock. And then you can kind of adjust the price to kind of fit basic supply and demand economics. Number 24, an abandoned cart recovery system. This one's super, super simple. Basically, it's just going to send a personalized email to anyone who has abandoned their cart. So it's not something really generic. It's actually going to be specific to that person, their interests, what products they're looking at. And it's basically going to say, hey, come back. Like you have something in your cart. Buy this thing, Ashley. Like we know you want it, right? So again, this is really, really helpful. Even if you can close a couple sales, this thing becomes really valuable. Number 25 is a product review analyzer. And I love this one. Like this is goes the same with like YouTube comments or social media comments, like product reviews have some of your best information. So if you can build an automation to extract any insights from customer reviews and generate improvement recommendations, or even ideas for your next product, this is super valuable to a company, something that's able to look at a single product, gather all of the reviews in one place, extract all of the most impactful kind of most valuable insights from all of the customers. And then again, give you a list of ideas of how you can improve that product.
project, this is going to go a long way. Number 26, supplier communication manager to automate routine supplier communications and order updates. Any sort of like routine email automation is actually really valuable for your clients. If you find that your clients are writing and responding to the same types of emails over and over again, they're sending the same types of files back and forth. In this case, it's going to be with one of the suppliers, you know, if they're in manufacturing or something like that. Again, if you're able to automate their email to analyze the incoming email, figure out the best response based off of past history, or even like a set list of criteria, and then automate the response to that other party, it's going to save your client a ton of time. It's going to be super valuable to them. They're not going to want to do this. So if you can automate it, you're way better off. Number 27, a financial report generator. It sounds basic. It might sound boring, but if you're able to aggregate all of your financial data, your business data into one place and create like a really beautiful financial report and insight. And now we have all of these AI kind of coding tools coming out like Lovable and Bolt and things like that and Cursor, right? And now imagine being able to take that data and instead of turning into like a boring PDF or PowerPoint or something like that, you're actually able to build like these really sexy, sleek dashboards that allow the client to actually interact with their data and draw stronger insights from it. And the last column is professional services and consulting. And again, remember number 33 is the most valuable automation you can sell across every industry. Number 28, a meeting schedule and prep assistant. So schedule meetings, research attendees, and generate agenda items automatically. This one is great for an AI agent, basically to analyze your email, figure out what meetings you have coming up, you know, set the meetings on your Google Calendar or wherever you take meetings. You can kind of do any sort of research on who's coming to the meeting that day so you can show up prepared so you don't have to do the research yourself. And then from there, you can just generate the agenda items with kind of like, again, basically like plain language text. Like say, hey, we want to talk about XYZ today. And they can kind of create that list based off of who's going to be involved in that meeting today and what types of decision makers are going to be present. Number 29, you can use this for your own AI agency, client onboarding automation. So create personalized onboarding sequences based on the client type and project scope. So anytime you get a new client, you can put them into your CRM and into your pipeline. Basically, you just have these automations that will take them, you know, from sales call to booked client to, you know, project started, working on a project completed, things like that. So something that's actually going to move them along through the process and send email updates along the way so that your client feels seen and heard and that you can start building that relationship. Number 30, invoice and payment follow-up system. Again, this is great for your business, or you can sell this to anyone with any sort of agency model or really anyone who takes payments from anywhere, right? So a system that will automatically generate invoices for you based off of, you know, the client and the scope of project and things like that. Something that will track the payments, like you can have a calendar, like, oh, I sent the invoice today. It's now 15 days later. I need to send a personalized professional follow-up reminder to, you know, this email and the automation will go ahead and take care of all of that for you. It saves you a ton of headache and it's actually a much better way to ensure that you get paid. Number 31, the project scope and timeline generator. This is great. This goes kind of alongside the business proposal, something that will analyze the client's requirements for whatever the build is and create a detailed project plans with realistic timelines. So it'll actually break it down step by step, which is great for you. It's great for your client. And then it can actually set timelines of how long it'll take to make this. You send this off to your client. They'll be super, super impressed with what you've put together and they're more likely to sign on the dotted line. Number 32, a client progress report creator. So something that compiles project updates and generates professional client reports automatically. So say you've been emailing with your client back and forth, you're kind of providing updates to them or things like that. This system can analyze what's going on in those emails and all of the updates you've been sending and create one nice clean report that you can send directly to your client where they can kind of look over everything all in one place. And number 33, the number one best selling automation for any AI agency is the AI powered knowledge base. I'm not even going to say every single client, every single person needs this, right? Transform your expertise into searchable automated client support resources. What this means is your clients are creating content, maybe it's just their website, maybe they have some sort of product documentation, maybe they have social media content, maybe they have a podcast or YouTube videos. Basically, the goal here is to gather up every little piece of information your client has ever published anywhere and put this all into a single knowledge base. They can hook this up to their chat bot on their website. They can use this to write new social media content. They can use this to write blog articles. They can use this to update the website based off of kind of new information that they've been talking about. There are so many use cases for this. You can literally sell this to hundreds of clients for thousands of dollars. If you take one thing away from from today, it is this, build an AI powered knowledge base, start selling this to clients today. If you're interested in how you can use AI automation to scale your business to $5,000 plus a month, I will leave a link in the description where you can join the community. I'll see you inside.